today is not a review but a tutorial slash VFX breakdown. So what we'll do is get from here to here. Welcome back to Forest Tech. So I've recently worked on something similar. So I thought of making and sharing with my viewers the walkthrough or a breakdown of the process. So anyone who is wishing to make something similar or part of it can make use of the guidelines I'll be mentioning today. So the entire process starts with this little toy Jeep filmed at 60 FPS. This will allow me to slow down the footage, make it more subtle and better track it. I stop at 4 and 125th of the shutter speed. There is one light here to keep the background clear, green and backlit the car as well. And then a small key light right here. It's a simple green chart paper at the background with red markers taped on it. It gives a nice contrast to green makes tracking clean and smooth. So the markers I've tried to not keep them behind the car and make uh, masking easy for myself. Next, open up the tracker and hit track camera. A good track should land your average error below one. Once the tracking points are there, I selected few points for flow and create a null and camera. Then with some trackers, create a null for background and similarly select a few to create a Jeep null tracker. So we can attach lights or similar things if you wish in doing so directly to the Jeep. Then we've got add mask to isolate the Jeep from the background through the timeline of my clip. It's a slow process, take your time, go through the keys and just make that mask around them. Then we apply key light from effects. Select and pick your screen color. You may consider adjusting a little of your screen gain and balance. Then in the screen mat, clip black and clip white. Well, according to your scene, these things will vary. So mix around and play with them to get the ideal cleanup for your footage. I kept the replace method to hard color, it gives a better result. Now you may see some flickering happening at this point, especially around the shadows areas. So I applied a key cleaner with edge radius of five and advanced spill suppressor with default settings. And voila, the flickering is almost gone. So I did a little matte painting here, show you guys can do a lot better. I took a few photos, credit to the original owners, sliced a few hills, some rocks, clouds, sky. After that, adjusted levels of exposures, colors, levels, curves, and color balance. So all of these, you gotta play around with them until then you get the one piece look out of all of these uh, images. So all these are separate layers, and once effects applied, I'm ready to take these to After Effect as a single PSD, and have all independent layers available for compositing. is a good time to import the PST as a composition so you have all the layers separately available. I will copy all of these, bring them into my comp where I tracked my Jeep and cleaned it up. So layers are already sequenced as you made your matte painting you know exactly which one is going to come in the front and which one is going to go back. So you can pick them all, bring them here and don't worry too much about it. Then convert them to 3D layers. Attach ground rocks to my floor now by copying nulls position to my layers position. Then copy the BG null position to mountains and cloud layers, so they can go right at the back. Now I'm going to switch to top view to move these layers and move them using their anchor points. So this is the right stage to spend some time positioning, scaling and both looking at the first and last frame to ensure that what's visible in the first frame is big enough to shift when the camera is panning from left to right. For the clouds, I used light color blending modes, then added these left and right lights with glows attached to these trackers. Now at this point, I'll go back and add lumetric color to make the Jeep get some of those warm tones and match better with the overall composition. After that, I made another duplicate of my whole comp, renamed it and disabled Jeeps from it. Applied fast blur with repeat edge pixels on and blurriness at 3. Then added another effect named set matte, take matte from the G player and invert matte on. Another effect channel blur with alpha blurriness at 50 and duplicate previously created set matte without invert matte. All of these together will give us a nice looking light blurred wrap around our keyed object so it seemed to get those soft lights around it making it more a part of the real scenario. Moving 
to a final main comp, imported my composited comp in here, scaled and shifted it a little towards the right side. I just think it looks a little better placing the Jeep closest to thirds of my composition. Added an adjustment layer to darken the colors, a little white lumetric colors and curves. Another adjustment layer to tint the sky with a simple ramp. You can add some of those optical light flares if you like doing so on both these lights. Another noise adjustment layer with add grain effect. Kept the intensity to 0.5 and chosen Eastman EXR 50D. Just find it very interesting. Finally, added a vignette and a letterbox, and there it is. I know for some it's a lot to sink in, but if you guys need more help, fill your comments below. And in case you need a detailed version of this video, then you can let me know, and maybe I can do that too. For now, I suppose it's a decent breakdown to help you start exploring the possibilities. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe to follow up. I'll be seeing you soon with another video. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out. Thank you.